What is it about Batman that people love so much? It's the car, right? Chicks love the car. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 Batmobiles. For this list, we've taken a look at all the different renditions of the Dark Knight's sweet set of wheels. From the comics to the shows to the films, and have selected our favorite based on their design and prominence among fans. Also, bear in mind that we are focusing exclusively on the cars, so no bat wings, bat copters, bat cycles, or bat segways. Number 10. The first ever Batmobile, Detective Comics. Designed after Auburn Automobile's 1936 Cord, the first Batmobile's design may come as a major surprise for many fans. It was a scarlet red convertible that was far from subtle with its flashy gold ornaments. And that was because it was basically Bruce Wayne's car. As far as its breakthroughs as a superhero vehicle were concerned, however, it had a noteworthy capability to smash through buildings without sustaining a scratch. While certainly not the dark and menacing models we know and love today, the first ever stands as illustration and historical gold among veteran fans of the Caped Crusader. And to Wayne's defense, this was his first car. Number 9. The Gliding Bat, Batman Beyond. This is unbearably cool. Introduced in the series' third episode, this version of the Batmobile kept true to the spirit of its predecessors in being a perfect embodiment of cool and practical. Equipped with all the fancy gadgets we'd expect from a Batmobile, the innovation of this illustration was in its design, being a small, slim, and sharp-edged pod with perhaps the most sinister-looking yet dandy interior. As it is a Batmobile of the future, it can also fly. Back to the Future may have let us down vis-a-vis -vis flying cars, but this series takes place in 2019, so maybe it's still possible? Number 8. The New Batmobile – The New Batman Adventures Whoops! Time to eject! Serving as a sequel to the original animated show, The New Batman Adventures sought to bring out as many changes as possible to the series, including the presentation of a new Batmobile design. The end result was this sleek coupe that retained the limo length, sharp-edged fins, and split windshield window of its predecessor, trading the grille and exposed motor tubes for a triple-pointed front and hooded headlights. This rendition of the Batmobile had a much more polished and completed finish, with retro and concept car vibes. In other words, a fitting design for a tech-savvy billionaire nighttime vigilante. Number 7. The Kilmer Mobile – Batman Forever When Joel Schumacher took the helm of the original Batman films, Gotham received quite the upgrade in outlandishness, and the Batmobile was no exception. Abandoning the Chevy Impala build of the Burton films, Forever saw a noticeably thinner Batmobile, with a less gargantuan front, an added fin on the top, and much larger wheels. Further relinquished was the pure black rendering, with stripes being thrown in over the body to expose parts of the car's interior mechanics, all highlighted with neon blue finish. Say what you want about the film, but don't deny that the car was as sweet and colorful an eye candy as ever. Number 6. The Tank Mobile – The Dark Knight Returns Here's a question. How do you regain control of a dystopian society blanketed by nuclear winter and overrun with panicked citizens and crazed gangs? Well, if you're Bruce Wayne, getting hold of a colossal, bone-crushing, fear-inducing, armed-to-the-teeth super tank might be a good place to start. Easily the largest Batmobile ever, this gigantic, pulverizing war machine stretches over enough ground in width to cover a three-lane highway. Plated with reinforced armor that deflects rocket-propelled grenades like they were rocks, it is said that only a certain Kryptonian can put a dent in this destructive siege engine, making it the perfect riot control machine. Isn't this a school night, young lady? Number 5. The Arkham Mobile – Arkham Knight Three. Two. One. Let's finish this. While this beast may have overstayed its welcome in the video game, there's no denying how awesome it really was. Taking cues from Nolan's film trilogy, this new version of the vehicle from the acclaimed video game series received major upgrades from previous rosters. Drone offline. Aiming to match the dark and sci-fi motifs of its title, this tumbler on steroids was mounted with two miniguns, missile launchers, and other mayhem mustering armaments. Finished with subtle details and the best high-tech gadgetry from the Arkham series, this badass street enforcer on wheels is an M-rated Batmobile done right. Number 4. The Timverse Mobile – Batman the Animated Series I've never seen that. I could never get past the title. Making its first appearance in Episode 2, this was the iconic television whip that raced through every child of the 90s's mind. 
Inspired by a concept car showcased at the Gotham World's Fair, this was the Batmobile that both Wayne and his Batman persona had a strong connection with. Outfitted with all the then-high-tech gizmos that reduced the fanciest cars of the time to mediocrity, this car marked a new gold standard for future renditions and real-life vehicles to emulate. Hi, I'm Laffy. Joker's helpful little elf. That is, minus the rocket tube engines, ejection seats, and the, uh, yeah, guy who dresses up like a bat. No judgment. Do you... what? Number three, the Tumblr, the Dark Knight trilogy. What's that? On the Tumblr? Oh, you wouldn't be interested in that. If there's one thing that proves that Nolan is both a masterful storyteller and a visual artist, it's his pulse-pounding interpretation of Batman and the Batmobile. Dubbed the Tumblr for the films, this Wayne Enterprises conceived vehicle was originally designed as an agile engineering vehicle for the US military. She was built as a bridging vehicle. During combat, two of these would jump over a river towing cables. Having the capability to make rampless jumps and wreck up garbage trucks like they themselves were trash, it's not hard to see how this heavyweight form of the Batmobile got its name. Well-equipped, fast, and aggressive, it's the perfect set of wheels for a billionaire vigilante who spends his nights beating criminals to a pulp with his bare hands. Where were the other drugs going? Uh, 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 I never knew. I don't know. I swear to God. Swear to me! Number two, the Westmobile, Batman. Atomic batteries to power. Turbines to speed. Beginning as a Lincoln Futura concept car, the original on-screen Batmobile was mid-century eye candy a decade before Adam West was behind the wheel. Maintaining its Stingray structure, designers George Barris and Bill Cushenberry completed the car's final architecture in under a month, with the final product being the immortalized muscle car that became synonymous with its fictitious vehicle. To the Batmobile, this could be the break we've been looking for. As the first benchmark vehicle for its successors, it was the first rendition to feature then state-of-the-art tech thus making the iconic vehicle as to what sold Batman as cool for those uninitiated to the comics. To the battle, fast. Before we roll out our favorite version of the Dark Knight's ride, let's have a look at a couple of honorable mentions. Number one, the Keaton Mobile, Batman and Batman Returns. Get the car. Finishing at first is the rendition from the film that reignited pop culture's obsession with superheroes. Built over the shell of a Chevy Impala, fused with a Corvette model, it's appropriate that this version of the fictitious car was structured around real idolized vehicles of its time. With plenty of bling like rocket launchers, shield plating, and remote control operation, this long coupe is as kitted out with gadgets as Batman himself. an icon on four wheels to this day. The Keaton Mobile is the avant-garde and flashy vehicle that all of its successors would emulate and build around. Do you agree with our list? What do you think, Batman? Do you? Which version of the Cape Crusader's car is your favorite? Don't lose that signal. As if. For more fast and fancy top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com. It's a deal then? Deal. Thank <music> you.